All right. Yes, sir. Good to know how we doing, family. It's your boy, Devon Messenger. Here, another message to understand. If you guys see me using, you know, this napkin wiping off, you know, when you pop a pimple, that process afterwards is just very annoying, just getting the shit out of your system. So don't mind me. That's a distraction right here because I got to take care of myself either way it goes. But I'm here to guide you to the water, not make you drink. So the basis of this video is helping us understand that angel numbers are neither demonic nor angelic. What I mean is angel numbers became demonic by demonic programs that are practicing demonology behind closed doors, meaning that, and what we have right here is an indication of what angel numbers are. And there's many variations. There's different meanings of what angel numbers are, if that makes sense. So what I mean is we're going to have two. So for example, we have these two meanings right here. And there's there's various, various different reasons or meanings for angel numbers, but they're all different alignments, different confirmations for who you are as a person, as a being, because who are you being? You're being yourself. And if you are yourself, then you are becoming yourself again, your higher self and your lower self all at once. So because of that, you had to understand that demonic programs made it they made it sound like it was just a demonic thing. And when people say angel numbers are demonic, they're not wrong for saying that, but this is why they're not right for saying that, but they are right for saying that. So it's a yes and no perspective. So somebody said, to my lip. So somebody wants to ask, are angel numbers angelic, demonic, or are they demonic? What are angel numbers? This is the basis of that video right here to help you and guide you for the rest of your life and so on and so forth so this is for whoever it doesn't matter what age you know can comprehend this video but angel numbers are demonic to a demonic entity and that's a physical thing it's a physical being that's what we are we are physical beings so everything so lowercase g everything in the physical is demonic but that's ironic coming from a demon or the ego per se and if we want to say no to that side this is what we mean so the reason that Angel numbers are angelic because our angels are here to help us in this demonic realm. They're here, to, they're here to help guide us through hell so that we can get into our heavenly consciousness. So 111, your intentions are manifesting quickly. Make sure you are focusing on what you actually want, not what you don't want. The intuition encourages you to keep following your spirit. You're on the right path if you listen to your gut and your heart, literally. And as you're doing this, well, because somebody outside, let me go and make sure nobody just, make sure y'all have ring outside of your house. Okay, false alarm. Hey, I got to make sure. Hey, protect your fortress. Tell my kings out there, protect your fortress. But see, that's the intuition though. See, so it's, that was a clear side of intuition, one, one, one. Because without, without numbers, how would you be able to tell these angels are speaking to you? You would have to trust your intuition, literally. So as our intentions are manifesting quickly, then we have to make sure that we're focusing on what we actually want in this life. So whatever you do want in this life, make sure you strive hard and you go and get it. You don't wait for anybody to give you anything in this world. You make sure that no matter what, you put in the hardcore work and no matter what people think about you, keep on focusing. Like, like no matter what, I could just stop this whole video and like fix, you know, what I got going on in my body. But it's like these teachings got to get done. So I can't be distracted by my closed minded ways or my physical ways because spiritually, who gives a fuck? Physically, people will say something, yeah, but two, 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 confirmation and alignment, stop worrying. Everything is working out just as it's supposed to. Trust that you are on the right path, literally the right one, right place, right time, trust in what you want. Don't think of the things you don't want when you see this number. Understand, there's nothing for you to worry about because as you're on the right path, you're able to manifest anything you want. And because of that, you have to trust yourself and go into the direction that you are walking towards, which is your righteousness, literally. So if you're going towards the wrong playing field, you have to be able to use this ermine on that playing field. And once you're doing that, you have to be able to see beyond the veil of your own discernment. 333, the ascendant masters are right by you, assisting you with whatever it is that you are currently working on. You are in great hands, literally. The equilibrium, mind, body, and spirit. Focus on all three aspects. Don't neglect one for the other when you see this number. I like that. Because as our higher guides, the hell? <laughs> as our higher guides are assisting us in anything that we are doing in this world, we have to understand 
the best way to see them, they will reveal themselves to you. So if you look in the mirror or if you're talking to people or if you connect them with people, you're networking or if you're dreaming, they're all over the place and their confirmations literally in number in a numerical form. But numericals, our numerical system has many forms, not just a number form. So it can be a human, it can be a dog, it can be a sky, it can be a TV, it can be a car, it can be video games. Angel numbers are literally everything and anything and nothing all at once. So you have to trust that with your mind, body, and spirit, you are walking in the right direction. And when you do that, you'll, ind you'll indicate, you'll have an understanding of where you are going, where you're headed, because your guides are guiding you. 444, you are completely surrounded by angels. You are being guided to whatever you are focusing on. The protection, the universe, and your spiritual guides are protecting you. Pay attention to your thoughts and your environment when you see this number. I love that. Because even right now, now, I know a lot of people see 444 every single day and every single night as well. This is this means that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're focusing on, your guides, your ascended masters, once again, they're helping you and guiding you towards your enlightenment that you can't seem to be enlightened to just yet. Some of you are, but some people are not. So the protection, the universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you, literally, because they know what you're walking into before you walk into it. Because of that, you have to have faith in your spiritual guide. So pay attention to your thoughts as you're going into any environment because new levels, new devils. Because you go into these new, these new environments, you have to always believe you're protected. And how do you protect? And how do you walk in a room protected with no protection? You protect yourself before you even walk in there protected. So before you even leave your house, always give thanks and gratitude to the Most High. By doing that, you embody the higher self of the, of the divinity in the human form. Five, five, five. <clears throat> Huge changes are up ahead. Trust that this transition is your highest good. Prepare for massive shifts. Things are getting exciting. The change, a change is occurring. The universe is moving things around when you see this number. I love it because your highest good is your better good. But somebody who thinks in a low perspective, they wouldn't think their highest good is better for them because all they know is a low perspective of themselves. Because of that, they're not ready to prepare for the massive shift that will happen in April 1st or April 8th and April as well. But it will be a massive shift this year, which is already happening right now. But because of that, things are really like things are going to get riled up. So every time you see that five, five, five this year and so on and so forth, every day, be ready for like a shift, numerous like. And what's crazy, when you, once you see that, you have to confirm that a shift is happening within your mind. So you won't be seeing it physically, but once you see it spiritually and mentally, thus your mind will change itself and your perception, meaning that the physical things will change around you because you have changed your mindset first. That's the first thing into unlocking this dimension we live in is unlocking your ego. That's the first exact thing because you had to change the ways of Satan. 666. Six, six. Your thoughts need some refocusing. This is a reminder that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. Reconnect with your spirituality. Just step back. Take a step back to rethink it and ask yourself, is what you are doing right or wrong? And I love this because many people will get lost on this journey. And as you get lost, that is okay because not everybody knows where they're going. Neither does a divine messenger. But because you'll know where you're going, you have to understand and trust your guides. By you trusting your guides, you got to understand that you're doing the right thing, but what is the right thing in the wrong perspective? You have to understand that <clears throat> as you're walking every single day, as you're as you're going through different doorways, as you're going through different scenarios in, in this world, you have to trust yourself and understand that everything is a game being played by Almighty God. This is literally GTA. We're all spiritual beings and we share the same connection. We share the same spiritual connection. Physically, we're just different. Because of that, you have to sit there and think to yourself, all the things that are going to happen with you and people were meant to happen for that reason. So you choose how to feel with your emotions and you have to figure out a solution to your problems because if not, people, people will keep on pushing your buttons because they see how easy it is to get you out of your emotions. And because of that, once you get out of your emotions, they'll, they'll then realize you are enslaved to the way they think. And they'll use that against you. That's what a narcissist will do. So be careful of that. Like Before we get to the next one, just reevaluate your life. 777, luck is on your side. You are on the ultimate spiritual path. Keep doing what you are doing, literally. The inner strength, release all fear. Be strong at heart. Look forward to the future with excitement when you see this number. It's a fact. 
every time you see 777, I wouldn't even say luck, but I just say fortune, destiny, common sense, alignment, confirmation. I don't believe in luck because what's lucky to you is destined for you. It's not just luck because any everybody has luck and some various reasoning within our lot within our world, really. Once you're going within a different spiritual path, not even a different spiritual path, but as you're elevating in your spiritual path, as you're rising, as you're getting towards a different type of perception within the frequency, within this dimension, then you'll be able to build in strength with wherever you're going because there are many, there are going to be many different levels. I don't want to say levels. I want to say there's different portals that you will be walking towards as you're going into them there'll be so many different ways of thinking that it may fear it may put a lot of fear in some of you watching this video so you have to always remember that no matter what when you see 777 alignment is on your side positivity is on your side if you allow it to be by training your ego to believe in a positive situation if you're walking into a negative situation so because of that always remember that no matter what do what you're doing if it's a positive thing if it's negative reevaluate your life and take a step back don't forget 666 number eight well i said number eight 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 lots of money financial abundance is on its way to you right now you are aligned with the money you desire the balance you are in harmony with the universe your thoughts and actions are also in harmony when you see this number that's a fact because when it comes in, what's crazy is the year of awakening as well. So if you see numerous AAHs, just know that that's a confirmation for you to get towards this money. But how do you do that? By putting in the work, by having faith. Once you have faith, you will have alignment with what you're doing in because you have faith that no matter what you do, you believe in your delusions to guide you in your illusion. So because of that, financial abundance will come to you once you feel abundant within yourself first. So the best way to receive this abundance from the universe, you have to go within yourself and receive it from yourself first and believe it before you actually achieved it. Because before you achieved it, you were already achieving it. And because you already were achieving it you have received it before already so it'll be like a deja vu moment because as you are already going through this you have a balance of reality and fiction because getting money is a fictional thing fictional beings like human beings had to make sense out of money because they have not made sense before so once they get money they will change their ways and have financial freedom once you have financial freedom then you are able to free your spirit from a way of thinking as well so it's a different realm of thinking once you are poor and once you have money that's exactly why they have changed it from not even middle class anymore it's either poor or rich so if you're on both sides of that spectrum you can see why people think like this when they're rich and why they think like that when they're poor basically oh we're gonna have a low battery soon um okay that's all right though we're good okay 999, you are being nudged to finish something because that completion will unlock the next step for you. And because of that, the wrap up, time to start a new journey, wrap up loose ends, let go of what does not serve you, prepare for the next level when you see this number. That's a fact. Because when you see this 999 number, that means you are getting ready to elevate. You're getting ready to elevate way beyond your comprehension and other people's comprehension level as well. So they would not be able to go through those doors that you go through or the lifestyle that you will be living in because they can't live in it themselves. And because of that, you have to be ready for anything to change your life and your destiny because you have already been chosen for this lifestyle. Next one, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, kazuntai. One, 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 one. You are on the right path. You are a master manifester. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are a master manifester and you know exactly where you are going. Alignment is at its finest. Once you see these, just know you're doing the right thing. And you know that you have to always believe in what you are going to be achieving. Once you believe in that, you will have new beginnings, zero, zero, zero. New beginnings, a fresh start. Bring one to the universe, a reminder that you are the creator of your own destiny. Literally. And because I didn't make sure too that this computer doesn't cut off because I don't know if it's going to save it, but Heard other angel numbers as well. And always remember, we were born free, but society, culture, and religion, and belief has taught us our limitations that they have placed upon us. So no matter what, there's many different meanings. It doesn't mean anybody is right. So when you're seeing these, they're not demonic. But if you believe they're demonic, then that shows that you are closed-minded to your demonic ways. So an angel knows that angel numbers are meant for the betterment of our good. And obviously, 
if you don't have good intention, then you're going to think that angel numbers are bad or they're negative or they're demonic because that's what you literally believe and that's what you lie in. So you lie to yourself every single day to where you can't even tell common sense through a numerical system. These things are here to guide us, not harm us nor hinder us. So use this ermine. If you can't use this ermine, that tells you how sleep you are in your own reality. Because what is it? I love you. Have a great day, God.